Hello everybody, I'm Michael Bailey with Avicon, and I'm known around the metaverse as Marcus Llewellyn. I'm glad you're back to watch this next video in our Learning to Build with Open Simulator tutorial series. In past tutorials, we've learned how to res primitives, move prims around, rotate prims, resize prims, select and deselect prims, create and manipulate link sets, how to edit prims inside of a link set, how to name prims and link sets, taking your build into your inventory, how to easily duplicate prims, path cutting prims, and hollowing prims. If any of these sound unfamiliar to you, or you feel you could use a refresher on any one of them, I encourage you to go back and re-watch the relevant tutorials. All of these skills are important because in this tutorial, we're going to combine all of these abilities to build a simple bench. We're not going to try to create a perfect piece of art, but we do want to try to practice all that we've learned to make the jump from specifics of building to the practical use of our skills. Let's take a look at a bench that I've already created. It is made up of just four cubes that have been moved, resized, and altered into their current form. If we edit the bench, we can highlight all of its parts and look around it to see just how all the parts were put together. At this point, if you want, you can pause this video and use all the skills you've learned so far to recreate this bench on your own. Every builder works a little bit differently and has their own style. I encourage you to give this a try. When you're finished, or if you'd simply like to watch this bench being built, you can continue watching this tutorial and see how the bench is assembled step by step. Let's begin building the bench now. As always, we'll start by opening our build window. Then, we'll res a cube. We're going to use our resize controls to flatten the cube. Let's also use our resize controls to make the cube just a bit bigger. That looks good. And remember to use your camera to get the best possible view of your prim. Next, we're going to hollow out our prim. We can do that with the up arrow. Or remember, we can always put in a setting that is exactly what we want. Let's try 60. That looks good. Now let's change the default hollow shape to circle. Next, we're going to path cut this prim. And we're going to use the end side of the path cut. Let's use the down arrow for this one and keep pushing it until we're at about 0.75. Now we have one set of our bench legs. Let's rotate this so that it's upright and sitting properly on the ground. Now, rather than do this all over again with a new prim, we can hold our shift key and drag to create a whole new set of legs. Now, let's res another cube, raise it up, and using our resize controls, we're going to flatten this and stretch it out until it generally matches the position of our legs. And let's adjust its position so that it's sitting right on top of them. Go ahead and make any tweaks that you need along the way. Now, once again, 
Rather than recreate this prim, we're going to hold our shift key and let's drag up. And this will be the back of our bench. Let's rotate it so that it's standing upright and then move it into the right position. As you can see, we have all the pieces that we need for the bench. Now, let's link them into a single object. Let's select all of the pieces and link them with Control L. The bench is now one object. Now let's go in our build window to the general tab. Let's name this link set Bench. We're done building, but we don't, don't want to just leave our bench lying around. So let's open up our inventory and then right click on the bench, choose More, and take Copy. As you can see, our bench has appeared in our inventory. And if we delete the bench we just made, we can go into our inventory, drag the bench out, and res it back. Good job. You built your first complete object using multiple prims. As you can see, it isn't hard at all with practice and some patience. I really hope you had fun following along. In our next tutorial, we'll learn a few more ways to change the shape of a prim. But for now, that's the end of this tutorial. Thank you very much for watching and keep practicing, building, and having fun.